hanging out on the dash.
if he wants to. Ah, we are good to go. We'll go back here to loadout number three. I can't remember the numbers he's doing. Like, there's number seven there, number five.
see what we got on. Change up my info too. Take me off of the BNB list and put me on the Ronnie's transport. Good looking Pete. Stainless hopper right here. in Oklahoma City it, we ran through some mist coming across but it didn't get too bad we need to put some 
put some new lights on here anyway. Let me get the grab a screwdriver. Tighten that thing up. There's a clean out right there, I guess. I'm talking about when we came in. Phone down for me. I had to got some self tappers there. I had to make some new holes. The other ones were wallered out. Good looking little day cam. Got one coming, I think. Let him get by. All right, let's go find Texas. Let's go find Memphis, Texas. Get down here for all our, our tornado show back up. Don't need it. 
that I was hungry. Like I said, it was windy out there. Chickasha, Oklahoma. It's a little pull off here in the middle on I 44. On our way home, kick her off. Eat this up and get down the road here. I'll already tell when we get the lot in Fort Seal. Second field artillery. A lot of good memories right here. Over here on the uh, on the east side of I-44. We got the, this is the training side. This is, they still have a uh, basic training and AIT over here. Fort Sill is primarily a uh, field artillery post. We got polo field. Did a lot of change of command ceremonies right there on that field. Ran a lot of PT tests around that field too. So yeah, this this little spot right here. I guess I was here. You no, know, I said '96. I would have been. I was 20 years old when I came here. Them houses wasn't even here. That was just a. I just no field right there back then. All that housing wasn't even here back then. Um, but yeah, 20 years old till I was about 24, I guess. And then when I left here, I went to uh, to South Korea. They sent me off to uh, South East Roger Lane. I need to make sure I got the right exit here. We're going cash out to sexy here. So. But, uh, yeah, I was, I was about 24 and I went to South Korea from here. And then when I, I was in South Korea for a year, as a matter of fact, I come out of South Korea the same week 9-11 uh, happened in 2001. September 11, 2001 is when I came back. And I went to uh, Fort Riley, Kansas from there to headquarters, battalion, uh, headquarters company 270th Armored Battalion. And that's where I got off of active duty at and I finished up in the Texas National Guard. Got my, completed my eight, eight years. Like I say, a lot of, a lot of fond memories. We're going to roll on down Rogers Lane here. Bust out the west side of town, go toward Altus, Oklahoma. Y'all know Altus all too well. It's about 45 miles, 45 minutes, or so it might even be 60 miles from Fort Seal, Lockton Fort Seal here. And then he's on over to the house. Having a good ride, still, well, we made it up to 59 degrees. It's warmed up a little bit. The wind's still blowing pretty hard out in the north. We're having a good ride. We're gonna be at home around 3.45 p.m. to kick this load off. And we left about 3.30 this morning, so about a 12 hour day. Not too not too bad, not too bad. It's, a, it's actually a light day for me. That Fort Seal gate right there. That's the main gate, Fort Seal Boulevard. Sheridan Road is the gate I always went in most of the time because all our barracks were right here, right here off of Sheridan Road. Had the old haircut, massage parlor, I can't even remember the name of that place. Susie's, Susie's, 
haircut, get the haircut, and get a massage. You know what I mean? Catch my grip. That place is long gone. Sheridan Road, y'all. There's all the berries right down there where we stay at. You got the training area out there. See Mount Scott there? Pretty cool place. If you ever come to Lawton Fort Sealy, you need to go out there and check out Mount Scott. Pretty cool. Got a road that goes all the way to the top of it. Anyway, I'll let's sit y'all down here and we'll go right on. Texas. Home sweet home.
All right, so we're uh, across the street from the shop here. We're in the little Mac Daddy. Same day still, y'all, same day. Just a little later. The sun finally came out, but we've been having some trouble with the little Mac. That's got us our laptop in the mail today. Boss man brought it down with him when he was bringing this truck. As a matter of fact, the blue truck's back. Y'all seen that when we were pulling up, maybe. Um, he just got, we just got it out of the shop. Just got the motor rebuilt on it. But uh, the Mac here has been having some intermittent issues. It'll just die, you pull over, and it'll start right back up. But it wasn't leaving no flash codes on here. Normally, the lightning bolt indicator will come on it says you have electric electrical fault on these old vmax systems and you can flash code it just like you do a, a caterpillar but um it would never leave us a flash code so i got this hooked up to a while ago and found the coolant set coolant level sensor had two uh or excuse me had seven seven faults well, we put a new coolant reservoir in there and we put a new sensor. So I'm wondering, I'm kind of thinking it might be the wiring. So anyway, I got it. I got the coolant level sensor pulled up here right now. It's showing 100% full and we're, we're running live data graph here. So if this thing acts up on me going down the road, I can, uh, I'll be able to see it right here and, and verify that that's what our problem is. If not, if that's not the problem, then I'm gonna open up a bunch of live data graphs of different sensors and watch them all and see what happens. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this coolant sensor. So we're about to drive it out here to our gen 10 miles out. We got a part we need to drop off to our buddy, gen manager out there, Dusty. Got some parts here to leave him anyway. He got him a little freight liner at an auction the other day for a steal for a heck of a price so let's let's ease out there and see what we can see one week later What's up guys? Well, so I got to editing this video and I, I didn't realize we hadn't finished. Uh, I never finished it out. So about a week later now, we are out here between Port Atlas, New Mexico and Roswell, New Mexico, Highway 70, headed down toward uh, out of El Paso, Las Cruces area, right there on the border, on the Mexico border. Vado, New Mexico is where we're going. We got to take it right there. See, the truck is trash. It, we made this run yesterday, and it absolutely rained its butt off all day yesterday in this whole area. So, pretty, pretty crazy. Pretty crazy on the amount of rain that we got. Truck is trash. So, but long story short, I wanted to finish this video out, and uh, we were in the Mac, I believe, and uh, had the computer hooked up to it, trying to see what was going on with it. Well, long story short, the only code it was throwing up was a uh, low coolant sensor uh, fault. It had like seven, seven failures on it, so uh, 
we had put a new reservoir on, put a new sensor in it, low coolant sensor in it. And uh, the only thing we hadn't changed was the wiring. So I followed the wiring off of the sensor. It had about seven miles of wire on it that went back to the ECM. So what I ended up doing, sensor wasn't three foot away from the ECM. So I put a new pigtail on the sensor. And then I found the two uh, wires that went into the ECM that read for the sensor. And uh, I clipped them about a foot long and I ran about three foot of brand new wire to, to it. Drove it around for about a half a day and uh, didn't really have no issues out of it. So uh, hopefully that fixed the problem. So with that being said, this is where we're going to end out that video. And I think the next one I have is uh we recorded a video of the eclipse on monday today's wednesday the, today's the 10th so that was the eighth and nothing spectacular on that one but i recorded anyway just in case anything cool happened so that's where we're at so appreciate you guys watching hope y'all enjoyed the port 33 video Tulsa, oklahoma and uh, be sure to Leave us a like if you made it this far. Go down there and hit that like button for me. And uh, share it out. Share the video out. And uh, hope everybody has a great day. We need to get on down the road and get this load kicked off so we can get back to the house. Have a good day. Keep shining side up. Hammer down. We'll see y'all next.